Is this crooked? Sorry, because I can't tell. Is it crooked? I can't see from far. I don't know, Tina. I cannot see from far away either. I feel weird on this side. How do you feel weird? I don't know. It's just I'm always on that side. You're always in the middle. What do you mean? You're like there's no like side for you. You're always in the middle of it. Well, right now I'm on this side and you're on that side and I'm always on that side. Want switch? No. <laughs> hey guys, so it's me, Tina. I'm here with Amy. Hello. So we're gonna do the 19 question tags. Number one, where were you born? In a hospital. Were you named after someone? I don't think I was. How? You came up with my name, didn't you? Oh my god, we did. The creator of my name, guys. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? I don't remember. When the last time I cried, I was watching a movie in my bedroom alone. Oh, no. I cried watching Flipped. It's one of my favorite movies. That was like like the sixth or seventh time I've seen that movie. So. Like how the fifth hundred time you've seen our music video? Oh yeah! Hey, so promo! <laughs> so I just made a music video for New Year's. It's a 2014 mashup with Amy. You guys should watch it. Click on my face or the link is in the description box if you want to see it. But yeah, check it out. Cool. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have three kids. Their name is Jack. Louie and Finn. <laughs> I wish my kids were that beautiful. Louie and Cole. That's like such a weird mix. Do you have any kids I don't know of? Does teddy bears count? Teddy bears? Yeah. Oh my god, if we're talking about teddy bears, I have tons of them. Kawaii, which is a big cat. I have... Oh wait, that's the Kawaii is not the cat, it's the dog. Oh god, I mixed my kids' names up. <laughs> oh baby, the new, the new fella I just gave birth to, I guess. <laughs> and... You adopted that thing. Hush. I did not want to. You handed it over to me at the doorstep. <laughs> you trapped it in a box and you gave it to me. So I don't know what you're talking about. I was never like a doll person. I was like a stuffed animal. If you were another person, would you be friends with you? Of course I would. I'm fabulous. Yeah, I would you because I like, I like me. Yeah, I would probably like, not, okay, let me think about it. If I was another person, I would get, I wouldn't understand me at all. Like, okay, never mind. You are getting weird. I'm getting weird way right too now. deep. I'm getting yep. Do you have any pets? I wish. I have fish. Oh, I have two pets. Their names are Steven and Tiffany. And do you use sarcasm? No. Yeah. You use sarcasm? Yes. <laughs> would you ever bungee jump? Okay, I'm too scared to go bungee jumping. I'm scared jumping. of heights. I, I would go skydiving, but bungee jumping is just so scary. Like, literally, don't Wait. they just like tie you to like your like ankle or something? It's just your ankle and then you just jump. Mm. I don't I don't know, like, wouldn't that hurt around your ankle? Okay, maybe it's not around your ankle. But what if that just snap? I would be too... <laughs> That's the point of it! You're not supposed to snap! Wow. But you would go like skydiving but not bungee jumping. Yeah, cause skydiving, like there's somebody on the back of you and there's a parachute. But there wasn't a parachute, what they forgot? That's the, why would you forget and then jump off? How could you forget the parachute? <laughs> what is your favorite cereal? I don't know. Plastic flakes? Mine is probably um, the strawberry Kellogg cereal. What is your eye color? You can't tell. Brown. It, it looks black, but it's really dark, dark brown. Scary movies or happy endings? Happy, happy endings. endings. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of scary movies. They're cool to watch with, with people, but like... Ah! You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> We're talking about scary movies. <laughs> and I'm thinking of scenarios and Steven just <laughs> pops into the room. like. You see what I mean? I can't do scary movies. <laughs> do you have any brothers and sisters? As you can see, yes. Steven just popped into the room. Yep. We both have two. We're the oldest. The sister is the youngest and the brother is the middle. Yep. Computer or TV? Computer, obviously. I barely watch yeah. TV. What is the first thing you notice in a person? Their style, because obviously that's the first thing I see. Yeah, I guess. Uh, before I see anything. Like, you have to see how they're dressed. So you just eye them up and down just to see how they're dressed. I just no, 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 like, first. no, like if they the they face. first pass you or if you like look around, you glance around, and you see somebody that dresses nice, you can tell. Like you can obviously tell style, and then after that, face. Number fifteen, your favorite smell? Mm -hmm. Food, like noodles. Ah, oh, noodles. Hashtag Asian. The aroma and just everything just oh, it warms my heart, literally. It just somehow warms my heart. Where is the farthest you've ever been away from home? Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam. That's like 36 hours away. That was more. Do you have any special talents? Can I can do this talks? with my toe. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. I don't have any special talents. Like, what's a special talent? Singing? 
That's the like that's more like just like a regular like thing. Like it's not a special talent. Can't talent. you do it something with your fingers? Oh wait, like this thing? <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. Do you have any hobbies? I like washing dishes. Editing, I guess. I don't know. I don't I don't really have any like physical hobbies. Like the jawing count? Uh, they said jogging. I'm like, what? <laughs> but like, I have hobbies, but like, they're none that's like out there, like sports or anything. Are you in love? Nope. <gasps> yes. I'm in love with Justin Bieber. Look, she has yeah. like a proposal right here. She has a party. Say that. I'm tagged, that's it. I look like a burrito. Okay, we're gonna have a bonus round. How did you get your YouTube username? You know? Okay, it's actually inspired by Ariana Grande. If you guys were subscribed to her before, like she changed her YouTube username and everything, her name was Oh Snap It's Ari. Like it was spelled like really weird. And like that whole time I've been subscribed to her, I read it as Osna Pitsari. So I thought I wanted to make a name that people couldn't like say it like right the first time. But it looks good all together. Fits in perfectly because like Sikutina is like perfect like it's like there like it's just all in one place you can put that as all my like social media accounts and everything secure is short for secure um, which is an insider with justin bieber if you search up secure you'll figure out you'll figure out what i'm talking about and then tina is my name so yeah justin bieber i thought secure stands for like so cute whoops no secure stands for sexy and cute but it's an insider with justin bieber he was in doing an interview and he was like beyonce is so sad Cute. So like, <laughs> ever since then, like, the believers are like, so cute! If you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? I want a name that describes, like, that can go with a boy and a girl. I don't want just, like, a plain girl name. If you could go back in time and give yourself, your younger self, advice, what would it be and why? Smile more often and don't let other people get you down. I don't know. <laughs> That's so cheesy. I look like I'm in a cocoon. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> slowly forming the cocoon, guys. Ah! I don't know. I can't like think like that because like I think everything should be the way it is. Like everything happens for a reason, so I wouldn't go back and really say anything. Oh, I know what I would do. I know exactly what I'd do. I'd go, Tina, whatever you do, give that skateboard back to Steven and don't go into the woods with Amy with a skateboard or else you're gonna break your day, Chris. And that's what I would tell myself if I could go back into the past. Or I'd go back into the past and say, Tina, for graduation, this is like the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done like in my life. i tell myself to sing a different song for uh, my middle school graduation because that was the, the one I sang was a mess. Like I chose a Jesse J song. Her voice was just so strong, and I think I did so horrible. How old were you when you first learned how to blow bubble gum? I think like eight or seven. I don't really remember the age. So what did you want to be when you were little? Cause I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember running around in like a blanket. As a you kid. wanted to be a superhero, like a job. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I don't uh, remember. Okay. I wanted to be a teacher, an artist, a vet, like the regular things little kids would want to be. I, I also wanted to be an author. But now I think I want to do something in the film industry, but I don't know what I want to do. Does YouTube count already? Like just one step already? Barely. What do you order at Starbucks? I don't go to Starbucks, but I went to Big B um, or Butter Bear. Back then I used to order like a green tea frappe. And then I also ordered like, I think this is like my favorite. Um, it's like a hazelnut frappe. But now that I don't drink dairy, I haven't really tried anything from, had anything from Starbucks. When's the hardest you've ever laughed? When I watch videos on YouTube. Really? You yeah. laugh too easily, you're like, remember chocolate? <laughs> you just laugh so much. I usually laugh a lot with like people. I don't really laugh from like videos so much. If you could play any musical instrument, what would it be and why? Guitar, because guitar is awesome. Yeah, guitar is awesome. I would so learn how to play guitar or drums. I play I piano, I but guitars, you can make so many good like sounds with it. And then piano has like, there's a lot of keys and stuff, but it all sounds like, not the same, but it's just not as creative as guitar. What's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? Sleep. Uh, you just eat? sleep your problems away, Tina. You can sleep your problems away. Eat. Watch videos and stuff. What's your favorite movie? This isn't in order, by the way. Never Say Never, Flipped, The Three Idiots, Kung Fu Panda, and I know I have some more. Tangled is my favorite princess movie, but Mulan is my favorite princess. What's one food that you cannot live without? Noodles. We've been over this already. I hope you know, you could end up looking like Alvin and Aaliyah since they eat noodles uh, every single day. Uh, that, they eat me every single day. I eat like <laughs> different kinds of noodles. Why are you looking at me? You answer. I don't know. Apples? 
The burrito lives. I want another burrito. We can go. You said you're a burrito. You can't live without apples. I like apples. Apples Lame. are good. What's your favorite dessert? I don't have a favorite dessert. Ice cream. So favorite pizza topping? Mine is pepperoni and pineapple. And you? Well, before it was like ham, pineapple, and mushroom. But now it's like probably mushroom and pineapple. Would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? Better. Invisible could help you walk into conversations. Would you rather walk into conversations <laughs> well, or read minds? Look, guys, he's an eavesdropper. Like, you already can't read minds, so you might as well. Well, you can't be invisible either. But still, like being invisible is so much more cool. Like I don't want to be in people's business and reading their minds because I don't even trust myself when I think to myself. Well, turning in invisible head. and walking into their conversation it's kind of being into their business too. <laughs> but like. I think weird things and like later on I'm like why did I say that so like if somebody read my mind then it'd be really weird more fun and you can mess with people too reading minds you can't mess with them you just read their minds you can know their weaknesses <sighs> no you no, don't if you had one personal selfish wish what would it be selfish and why? wish yeah selfish wish what would it be and what why? the heck is a selfish wish like just for you not for anybody else oh okay well what would you do I have no clue. Probably have all the money in my world. In the world. Oh, that's a good one. That, that's not selfish though, because then you could help people with that. But oh. I choose not to. Oh. Well, that's not a really bad. I hear your heart beating. <laughs> if you were a Pokemon, what would you be called? What would you look like? I thought this out like a long time ago. Really? Yeah. It's like you would Pikachu. be like a bunny. It's like a Pikachu mixed with my name, so a Michu. Michu. Hey, that's Michu. good. That. I would want to be like flying and water type. Okay. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to water your plants. If you don't have a plant, go buy one and water it. Keep it next to the windowsill so you can be happy. Keep it where you wash your dishes so you can talk to it while you're washing the dishes and sing to it. Stay smiling because you deserve to smile. You can finish the video. I don't know how to finish a video. You do it. You're the lazy raccoon right here. <laughs> I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm not coming out yet. I'm